Hello and welcome to another uh, Final Cut Pro tutorial. Um, there was a one key area when using the events library and the media organization, particularly the keywords tutorial that I didn't pick up on that, and that is importing media. Now, when you import media, everything is going to come under this overall event bin, and basically, this um, collection is basically every piece of media that is related to this particular event. You can actually um, be in a project. This project is under the Husky the Short Film event, but you can access the media from, say, my tutorials event and put them into this project. Now, that's great, cool flexibility. Um, something you might want to bear in mind when you can quickly grab media between different projects. It's really, really handy and really cool for uh, for standalone or freelance editors. Now, when you import media, like I said, it comes under here. However, let's say we had the filming day one bin selected. And then we right clicked here, we pressed import files or command shift I. And let's just go ahead and choose this Ocean Deep soundtrack from Video Cloud Pilot. We can see that that piece of media has now been added to that smart collection. This piece of media has automatically had the keyword added to it. We press Command K. We can see all the keywords that have been assigned, and that is filming day one. And that now has the keyword that we imported it to. So let's say we knew we were going to import a load of sound effects. We could create a new keyword. Command K. Sound effects. We want to assign it to our sound effect, which is this one here. Press Enter. Let's just press escape to close that dialog box and then we go into our sound effects smart collection and command shift i we can go ahead and import some more sound effects and these are all going to automatically be assigned the sound effects keyword so this is really cool really handy a nice way to add media to a particular collection on import if you don't know where it wants to go like I said, go over to the overall events area, and then when you import, it's going to be imported. Let's uh, bring in the Mercury audio setting. Let's just find Mercury, and you can see that there's no be there's no blue line, which means there is no keyword in this media. So, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. Now you know how to use keywords. You know how to import media using keywords, and automatically assign keywords to new and currently importing media. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.